Yes, 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 y'all. Welcome back to a new episode of the Mix and Pop Podcast. I'm your host, Chef Tariq. And of course, it's another Wednesday. I got my brother with me, Chef Drewski. It's a thing. What's going on? It's a thing. How's your feeling? I'm just I'm just working on my singing career, you feel me? I think you should stop. <laughs> uh, this is my um, alter ego. Anita Max Wayne. Have you seen that? No, do you have that an alter, meme? alter ego name? Fuck no. Why not? Because I have like, I go by three different aliases. I, I'm, I'm fine. You have Daryl, you have Andrew, and you have Chef Drewski. Yeah, literally. I'm literally, yeah. that literally is it. My, everyone at uh, work today actually was talking about that. They were like, yeah, like, so what do you go by? Like, <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And they were like, yeah, like, we heard you, we know you're Daryl here, but like, Whenever you like talking about like your friends or anything, like you're referring to yourself as Drew or in like or Andrew or like what like so what do you want us to call you? And I was just like, uh, my name. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't want y'all to switch it up. But I told them the st- uh the story like how it was every year like through growing up throughout school like everybody would know me. All my friends and shit would know me as Andrew yeah. or Drew. And then like attendance gets called and they called daryl smith and i'm sitting here talking about present and like <laughs> niggas are like looking at me like they're deceived like it's crazy <laughs> uh, bro i remember literally the first time well, first of course first day of school and stuff and we was like yeah man, andrew I was like all right cool and then the one time i went to your room and i was like wait i don't think this is a room <laughs> and then I knocked, on, I knocked on the door and he was like yo so i said wait who's daryl he was yeah that's me don't worry about it my name is andrew i said <laughs> okay bro definitely i always brush past it too i'll be like yeah don't worry about that shit cuff i was like all right well whatever let's uh, do it uh but look man let's get into it we running it back i was thinking about what a drink i should get okay so you know what i should start with this andrew's been talking about the sunny d vodka seltzers for a hot minute you were about to get them tiana had them at the house and stuff like that did you bring them? And she was like, you want to try one? I was like, I don't want to try Did it. she like it? Well, we tried one together. It's not as bad. I told you, it's bro. It's not as bad. So we're going to have to find... Well, actually, she said it's at BJ's, but you know BJ's out here. Ain't ain't nobody going so we're going to have to go to Mass yeah. BJ's and go get them. Or I'll just have to tell her to buy me a case and I'll send her the money for it. But they're not as bad. You you dogged it too? You finished I it? I took a sip. I was like, it's not, it's not strong. Mm-hmm. Like you get, you taste the sunny D and stuff like that in the seltzer, but it's not as like crazy. So mm-hmm. it was, it's, it, it's a nice like touch, right? It's not, it's not bad. All right, <laughs> we'll it's get them. Bad. We'll get them. We'll try them on here. But we run in the back with the. They better come out with new fresh. They probably got new flavors too, like the strawberry and everything. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, but we got the refreshments today. We got mango. We got guava. Which one you want? I'll take the mango. Mango. Wow, was always a hit anyway. And look, we got some new lights in here. Drewski, you looking light skinned now. Like, look, look, look. I'm, I'm dark skinned. This skin bro. is glowing. I'm like, team dark skin, bro. You, you know how to chill, brother. Mm. I don't know why you like, you like a. Yeah, I forgot. These are really good, actually. Yeah, and I, God damn it, I broke that. I remember I dogged mine all last week, and I think I was going to a second one. I don't know. Mm hmm. Or I low key am. Calling coming a, a, la, a lush, you becoming an alky, huh? Yeah, a lush. <laughs> I learned that word today. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell is a lush? Lush. All right. Uh, how was your weekend? It was cool. It was cool. Can't can't complain. Can't complain at all. Um, what did I do this weekend? This weekend, I took the liberty of. Watching all the John Wicks. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I did that a few weeks ago. I did that, and uh, I still have yet to see four, so I technically didn't. um, That's the last one you got to get through. Yeah. And then uh, what else did I do memorable? Um, We went to your uh, house, did a couple of things over there. Switched some things up. Yeah. 
recorded some stuff. Became the Blue Cut Boys out of nowhere. This past weekend was New Year's? No. I'm bugging, bro. This is the first week. This is, well, this is the second week, but last yeah. week was the first week into the New Year. I feel like I was drunk the day before I came to your house. But where was I getting drunk at? Where was you drunk at, Drew? <clears throat> no, I got lit at your house. That's where I was getting oh, lit yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Cup Boys. That's, yeah, I was like, what boys. the hell? Yeah, but we did that, uh, recorded, did some some second human touches on that video we did. His dad fucked with it. We collabed on it. So that was, that's a nice little collab. Yeah, Shout out, man. Steve. You, you should post that as the first, like, second human, like, type yeah. video, too. Yeah, I want to get the, like, tags and logos and stuff and learn how to edit, too, as well. But, yeah, that is definitely a good idea. I should take that and just post that. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's you, Drew. For real. And, um... Yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Just been brainstorming, stuff like that. Uh, Shodi went to Mexico, so she's good. Uh, out there having fun in the sun while we're all over here freezing our asses off. <laughs> but it's whatever. All right. Um, yeah, I'm about to probably just do the same this weekend. Just chill, just laid chill. back. Uh, probably definitely going to fly the drone. Couldn't do that shit last night, though, because what? It was pouring. That shit was crazy. Pouring. What? It was crazy how, how much it rained because you see how there's no snow in There's anymore. no snow, yeah. Not it's a, gone. a flake of snow, bro. So, yeah. I mean, that was it, really. Um, what about you? Uh, my weekend was pretty good. Uh, of course, we, the competitions this week. Uh, you know what's kind of crazy? So, Sunday, we were actually, like, busy at Red Lounge and stuff. It was a good thing. We were busy. Um... But, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we weren't, like, that busy like that. Like, mm-hmm. You know, Friday had, like, you know, a few orders. Saturday had, like, you know, a few orders. But, like, Sunday was, like, kind of jumping. Like, it was kind of steady, kind of, like, a little consistent on Sunday. It was like, all right, this is pretty good. And me and George was like, bro, why is everyone in here, like, and it's straight snowing right now? We're just like. <laughs> and it's straight snowing. We'll take it. We're not mad at it. That us. We are not mad at it. Um. Oh, pizza's here. You want me to grab the pizza? Why tell? You want me to go grab yeah, it? Yeah, I'll grab it. We'll grab it. We'll grab it. I'll, uh, I'll talk and stuff. Um, but no, yeah, Red Lounge this week, which was uh, which was pretty pretty good. Uh, of course, we had the competition going on, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have the coupon for the Lord of the Wings, you guys can come out. Um. But no, my weekend was pretty good. Just kind of chill. Just got things ready. Got things going for the competition. Um, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It wasn't bad. Uh, jerk shrimp tacos. If you had it, you know you know. If you didn't have it, they sold out, and it was definitely a hit. Uh, we got tacos again this week, so make sure you guys come out and try them because they'll be go- they'll be going on to the menu very soon. So. Uh, it was definitely a good thing, definitely. Um, then of course I was at my girlfriend's house yesterday. We uh, spent some time, made some burgers yesterday, which was fire, and kind of just got things going. Yeah, no, it's no crazy Sunday, <laughs> and literally it poured all night, all last night, and it basically wiped away everything. Um, so yeah, that was kind of crazy. And driving back from there to here, it was od. Here we go. Here we go. Here we good. We good. We got dinner now. Like, just, just drop it on the table, Drew. Like, we good. Yeah, Cause you're ready to dog it right now. Nah, I can wait. I can wait. I'll be good. Um, but no, I was. It's funny that you said like the rain wiped out the snow. Cause literally, I was at uh, Tiana's house last night when it started raining. Well, it was, it was raining when I was driving up there and stuff like that. And then I literally, like, all last night it was pouring. And I literally had work in the morning, so I literally drove from Boston and basically Johnston. And Johnston, if you know Johnston, it floods like crazy. Yeah. Like, Johnston will flood. Um, so, hey, sorry, oh. uh, so it's kind of, it is kind of crazy, like, when I got, literally right when I got in, that's when I, like, it kind of was, like, OD. But, like, luckily, I got off the highway. It was already at work, so. Um, but, no, it was good. Um, honestly, yeah. And still, honestly, I was just getting over my cold last week. Um, 
so yeah, it was it was a pretty good weekend. It was chill. Um, and yeah, we're back this week again. Red Lounge Thursday to Sunday. It's playoff time as well. You done brought a slice oh, just, yeah. just just for the hell of it. I'm dead. Why you get the bigger slice though? Wow, you gonna give me this teeny weeny slice and you gonna take the just a sample. <laughs> okay, I guess so. Um, but no, yeah, if you got the, the coupons for the... The reason I can give you a full slice is because you eat like a bad man. I don't, I don't, I don't like get why... Show, I don't get why you, like, watch me eat. Like, what's, what is your obsession with me eating? I don't... There's no obsession. It's just... Why do you eat like that? Bro, I just eat. You just took, like, a crazy bite, too, and you want to mm-hmm. talk about me. Like a regular human bite. I'm dead. Um... <laughs> But no, the jerk shrimp tacos were a big hit this week. Mm-hmm. Like it was big, like ran out. Like uh, so, I had uh, so I had popcorn shrimp, and then I had this shrimp for the tacos. I ran through the the shrimp from the tacos, and I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna use that." So I threw the jerk season on there. It was straight. I ran through that like Sunday. Like people were loving them. They were yeah. dogging them and stuff like that. So one that's definitely gonna be going on the menu very soon. Um, I'm doing some fried chicken tacos this week. Fried. Chicken tacos. tacos. So you're just putting a chicken tender in a taco. But cutting it up into smaller pieces, yeah. Okay. Um, we also have some updates on our hard shell uh, discussion from last week as well. From who? Well, I posted a clip today, you know, I was talking about it. Why why not hard shell? We was talking about, you know, maybe it's just more Americanized. Um and you know, you know, one person responded, you know, Ooh. I kind of, Ooh. Well, I I was I I tagged some people, and I mean the basis of it, you know. Let me go to the comment. Let me go to the comment just so you know I can tell you what's going on. Uh, and this dude is actually uh, it's on Instagram the underscore real underscore king real creole. Uh, he's actually a chef in uh, Texas, but he he does like music now. So he used to be a chef basically. So I mean he knows some stuff, but he said. When I asked the question, like, what do you guys think of, you know, why not hard sh- talk, not why not a uh, hard shell, or are you hard shell or soft? Uh, he says, nah, don't do hard shells. That's not a taco. That's a tostada. Soft tacos only. I'm closer to Mexico and Texas, so argue with Taco Bell, basically. <laughs> he said, argue with Taco, taco Bell because Taco Bell would use hard tacos, hard shells, basically. <clears throat> um. Interesting. You normally use. Bruh, I'm not understanding. Is he being passive aggressive? What, what, what am I reading from him right now? I mean, I guess we can say he's being more passive. But I mean, I think the thing I took from that is like, all right, hard shells are used for like tostadas, basically. And in Texas, you're not seeing hard shells on ta- in tacos. So again, kind of going back to what we kind of, well, I kind of like mentioned la- last week. I think it's just more of a like American thing. That hard shells are mm-hmm. really just used out here. Like Taco Bell is, and he said he's closer to Mexico and Texas. Yeah, he, yeah, in Texas he's he's closer to Mexico where they're not using that. Like, mm-hmm. so I mean, again, it makes sense. Um. <laughs> Juice, like you know what? Everyone's know. entitled to their own opinion. Like I said, at the end of the day, I taste the food. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's your girl TT's in the chat. She said jerk shrimp tacos. Oh, also, we got to have this debate, too. Because she's saying that she said jerk shrimp tacos before you did. Bro. You're saying you did, too. So, I, I'm not doing this shit. Because literally everybody in the room confirmed that I was the one who came up with the shit first. So, how you're going to go off and run with the shit and say, yo, like... We all came up with it. That was not a fact. This is no shade to your girl TT. This is no shade. T- no, this is shade to you. Because, nigga, Me? I said it to you first. Me? I Me? was I literally sitting in your kitchen. And you were saying, yo, I got to come up with these new specials, dog. Like, I'm thinking about doing tacos. I said, damn, bro. You know it would sound fire? 
jerk shrimp tacos or some shit. And you said, yo, you know what? That actually does sound fire. And I was like, yeah, like, that shit sounds fire. Da, 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 da. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You start doing your little shit that you always do. Yeah, 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 yeah. And start scheming and shit. I know what you be doing, nigga. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, yo, jerk shrimp tacos. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm like, all right, this shit debuted. Like, that's what's up. Why you, nah, not you trying to be in a comment song about I'm trying to start a fight and saying we ain't got beef. Nah, 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 stand on business. Because you was like, no, I said it first. I said it. Oh, word? That's okay. crazy. So, I don't know. I ain't trying to start no beef with y'all, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you did say that you Tariq said Tariq is starting the beef, though, because he knows who said it in the first place. He knows for a fact who said the shit. He just ain't going to let it be. No, I would say he, this. Look, and this is gonna segue into our next subject. He's Cedric and Steve and Ricky Smiley. <laughs> he gonna get up on your podcast. He gonna get up on Shay Shay Room hey, yo, and f- lie. <laughs> he gonna sit here and talk about, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We was all in the lab and we was collabing, you know. This nigga, bro. Bro, that's why I believe Cat, bro. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Well, first of all, if you guys actually want to go back to <clears throat> episode 52, where Tiana was here, you were here, I was here. We said, we said it on the show. We said jerk shrimp tacos. And we all agreed. So, Bro, I said it saying? before that. We don't have proof, bro. That's fine. You know what? At the end of the day, we know who said it. And just shout out to Kat, because at the end of the day, we know who told see, the truth, see, now, Kat. Now she's saying, we know, she, I know who said it first, so now she's she, she trying. Are you saying you said it or not first? Did you say it before, Drew? Because I think bro, this, she's, she's implying that she said it before. You, you, you on your Steve Harvey shit, bro. I don't know. I'm just saying. You on your Cedric I'm the Entertainer shit. I'm just saying, shit. you know. This nigga acting like Ricky Smiley, talking about, oh, I, I got the, I got to play Money Mike first. <laughs> oh, speaking of it, nigga, what? Speaking of it, how you, how you say you made jerk shrimp tacos first? And Drew said it. Well, I did make them. I did. You make did make them. You did, but I said it. I suggested the recipe. But you didn't come up. But with he, recipe. he Money Mike though. But Yo, you, someone you know call what? Ice Cube, bro. You know what? I, call Ice Cube. You know what? I, He's going to get this straight right now. You know what? Because just because you said it, I still came up with the recipe, just like how Cat Williams said. He came. He had, he added the pimp into the movie. He had the whole design. He added. He had, Did added you see it. what Ice Cube said, though? Yeah. He said none of The script is a script. Yeah. Like, that but shit is all finalized before get, these niggas get. even come in. So. <laughs> That shit had said, me I weak. No rape in the movie. I'm like, I, I ain't never that. put no rape in my scene. Like, what? But yeah, getting into it. Uh, Cat Williams was on Club Shay Shay, Shane Sharp's uh, show. And he went off on all the uh, on all the celebrities. He went off on everybody. All the comedians, stand up, everybody. He came out Phase on Love. He came at Earthquake. Nah, he wasn't even. He, came out he wasn't Harvey. coming at Phase on. Yeah, he, he was did. gunning. Oh, for Faison, <laughs> he, he came, was gunning. Came Faison. for Cedi, Cedric. Came for Steve. He he said, "This is why Bernie was saying back then they were stealing his stuff. This is why he said they were hating on him. They said Ricky Smiley. <laughs> he said Ricky Smiley. I put in the contract. Ricky Smiley will only wear a dress in any movie I'm in. And he said the next one they did, he was in the dress. Wasn't he in uh, a dress in First Sunday? I think so. He was playing an old woman, right? I think so. I don't remember. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, but I mean, breaking it down, literally, it's you know, he was saying, you know, he was kind of homeless at like thirteen. He was in Florida. He learned. He he's not a out a drug drug addict. He he don't take drugs. Uh, he says he reads a lot. He's really smart. You know, his parents were Jehovah's Witnesses, so he was in like Haiti. You know, you know, seeing everything going on, so he knows a lot of this stuff. And then you know. Comedy wasn't even like, it wasn't, you know, it didn't come to him right away. It kind of came like later on when it's kind of like, I need to do something. Mm-hmm. Still. So, you know, and then talking about how he was homeless, you know, as he was getting on to uh, Friday at the next. And at the same time, well, you know, he came on to Wild Now and stuff like that. Um, 
and he, I mean, he said a lot. He, he literally said they were still, they steal jokes. They do like they're not original. He came at everybody, you know. He said Faison says anyone can have Netflix special, but Faison don't got a special. So why are you even st- talking? Uh, he says Steve Harvey's uh, fro that he used to have on a Steve Harvey show and back then was fake. <laughs> he said that was a toupee, a man uh, unit. Yeah. Um, he said a lot, Drew. I mean, what is, what, what is your thoughts? What's your take on it? He said the truth. Yeah. Ain't no way that some random ass man is going to come out of nowhere and drop all these truths of these people that have come before him. And these interviews that he's talking about have come like a year prior to, to him being there. Like, You think everything he said was true or... Majority. Okay, well, we already know that everything he said wasn't true because with the Ice Cube thing, like, <laughs> nigga, the nigga made the movie. Why would he lie about that? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, so at that part, I feel like he did tell the truth, but he he kind of swayed it to telling his side of the truth. Just like everyone else came on there and talked their truth or said, no, said they shit they or whatever. Yeah. Like, it is what it is, but... I do think, like, a lot of information that he was saying, though, was very spot on. Yeah. I do feel like, now, mind you, we are all outsiders looking in, so we really won't know what happens behind the scenes and all that shit. But, like, I can see Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, all them, the kings of comedy and shit, being a cliquish type of thing. And, like, I can see them hating on Bernie because Bernie Mac was really funny, bro. Like, Bernie regardless of what age you were or anything, bro. The Bernie Mac show itself, nigga. Like, we would tune into that shit, like, every week, bro. Bernie, Bernie that Mac. That shit was crazy. That stands up to this day. Like, I, I, would, I literally would look forward to going home and watching the Bernie Mac show with the family just because I knew that's, that's one thing we would do. That and Everybody Hates Chris, we would all watch that as a family, too. Like, that shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. But, um... <clears throat> A lot of his shit, yeah, we was truthful, I feel. Um, I do like how he represented for Bernie. I yeah. do like he, how he stood up for Bernie. Um, he did say a lot of truths. I, I do think he talked his shit. Um, the origin story was a little rocky. I mean, like, you're 13 years old with a Rottweiler puppy jumping in the back of a tractor trailer going across country, bro. Like, I understand it was different times, but, nigga, that's... Times where serial killers was most prominent, nigga, especially at truck stops. So like, you got, <laughs> you just got into the truck. I need proof. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he on said, some things. You said he read three thousand books at what the age of thirteen or eight. Nigga, I wasn't even reading. I I couldn't even read Magic Treehouse. You couldn't even get me to read a Magic Treehouse book. No, Sunday, me and Raquan were talking about. He's like, "Yo, I believe it," because like you know, yo, you read my books. I said, "No, Raquan, we read we read books." At that at age and stuff, but we we hated we, it. We didn't read three thousand books. Three hundred, okay, a little maybe more of that. Sure, three thousand. I don't. I didn't even. And he lie said, though. and a lot. He said the books that he read were nonfiction. At that, how many yeah, nonfiction yeah. books were out back then that you were just reading three thousand? I mean, a shitload. I mean, there's book a I million mean, more. There's like more the books and movies in the world. I mean, encyclopedias and stuff like that. You reading like you reading. I mean, Webster front to cover is crazy, but, like, if you got to, do it. I mean, I, there's, like, everybody's going to make themselves shine in the light. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like, not everything that is going to come out of someone's mouth is truthful nowadays. I hate to say it. Like, yeah. everybody is going to do what I like to do and enhance stories. Like, whenever I'm telling some shit about Tariq's story, I'll change it up and spice it up and enhance that shit. Like, I just feel like that's what a lot of these comedians did before they got on Shay Shay Room. But... I feel like Cat had to come rectify that shit because a lot of that shit was misconstrued. Yeah. So he did what he did. I mean, I agree. I think I think majority of it was truthful. Um, like, I mean, and there's been some people that like would have, and there's like some videos that like would back it up. Um, like someone said, and Cat was like, "Yo, last reason why Steve Harvey don't do stand up." anymore is because when we was in Detroit, I killed him and he, he was done from there. And someone literally, and look, someone told the bad story. They said they were in the, it was like a year prior, 
Cat Williams, like, sons was like, oh, that's Steve Harvey. And they was in a mall. So he was like, he was like, oh, can we go ask him for an autograph or a picture? He was, he was like, yeah, go ahead. And he said that Steve Harvey basically denied them for an autograph or a picture. And Cat was like, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. We, whatever, cool. If that cat knocks keep going, over keep our going, new keep lights going. that we paid keep top going, dollar going. for. You've knocked it over twice, kid. What are you talking about? I'm going to strangle him. You've knocked it over yourself twice yeah, already. Yeah, that's fine. I paid for it. That nigga <laughs> ain't paid for it. Go. Keep going. Uh, and then he said when they got, and then like the year later when they was in a comedy club, Cat basically just came at him. Mm. Like, literally. And everyone in the, in the crowd was loving it. And they said, Steve ain't done stand up since. Um... <laughs> They showed, they showed, they showed a video. There's been videos of like uh, someone doing a joke and then like Steve Harvey doing it on the show. Cedric, the show. same. Same with Cedric. Did you see the shit with Cedric? Mm. So there was um, in that whole, you watched the whole interview though, right? I didn't watch the whole thing. I've been trying to get through it, but literally it's almost three hours. I watched a good like two hours of it. And and it's, I'm like, still it's like two hours, bro. No, it's You're 246. Wild. I'll show you right now. Because, nigga, I'm still two hours in. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I still got another 46 minutes to go. <laughs> you know how many people watch that shit? That's the most viewed it's a, video he has. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, and, look. 2.46. And I got 24 minutes left. Look, 246. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, also, a lot of people were coming at Shannon Sharp, too, because of the way he was in- asking questions and interviewing him. I mean, he's an interviewer. What do you guys expect? These are, this is why you tune into his channel. These are the things you want to see. These are they the were, questions you want to but see But people asked. were like, yo, you're, you're not asking good questions, or you weren't asking them at appropriate times and stuff. But then Shannon, him and... Uh, he does like Shay, Club Shay Shay like after hours with Ocho Cinco and they did like report on like other things and stuff like that late night. But he talked about it. He was like, first and foremost, he came in on go. So before what am I supposed to ask him? He was like, like He's before going off script. before Cat even like the cameras were rolling, Cat was like on site with it, was like ready. So and then he was like, he was like, I'm not an actual interviewer. I'm like I mean, it's like he like I forgot the actual analyst. words. I forgot the exact words he said and stuff I'm like that. I'm a sports analyst. No, he didn't say that. But he said I forgot what the exact words were. But I thought he did a good job because he let him talk his talk. He let him get his things off. You can't just be like, well, wait, hold on, like, and that's a, and Cat said he said, yo, the reason why people like coming on here, everyone because everyone felt comfortable with him. Mm-hmm. He gives it a, a safe environment. Exactly. He's not in there like. Saying, nah, that's not true. Why would you say that? He's not coming at you. He's letting you tell your side and say, okay, well, why is that? Or did this person say that? So that's why. And that's why when he was when he was like, well, wait, Kat, why is that? He was like, I don't know. you. Why didn't you ask that to Cedric? He was like, well, I didn't know it was it was true or not. It was wrong. And now you're going to put him in the room, huh? Oh, oh, grab me one too. <laughs> um, but he was saying that he was like, how am I supposed to know what he was saying was false and stuff like that? So that's why he was letting things go. Like, he was letting things rock. He like he did a good job in the interview. He let things, like, it was his most viewed for a reason. Like, he was ongoing. All the things that he said, it was like, you guys, you guys want to come at me for, you know, some of the things I was asking or for things I wasn't asking. But it's like, <laughs> but it's like, if for someone, if someone comes in, like hot off the jump, you can't you can't really control that off the grid. You gotta like, you gotta start to find a way to like navigate through everything. Us. You gotta kind of break it down. Like that's why like he didn't ask him about you no know, any of his real background until like a good forty five minutes into the damn interview. That us though. And even then, Cat's going. In, he starts t- telling everything, and then he still goes in about everything else. So it's like you, especially with interviews like that, you gotta learn how to like. Break things down and like when to like interrupt and when to like kind of play off of them. Yeah, it's just active listening, really. Mm-hmm. Just knowing, uh, knowing how to read the room. To mm-hmm. to be honest, too. I mean, but again, I 
Again, I think a lot of it, again, I think a majority of it was true. I do think, like, I think he's done drugs because, I mean, I don't think a lot of, I don't know. I think no there's, one knows. I think there's some things you've probably taken, but no one, I mean, you've done it on your own. You ain't probably, you ain't been out there wilding out, like, with the drugs, so it don't look like it. So, I mean, I'm sure, but there's been times you've done it. I'm sure he has. Um... The one, the one thing he really, really caught me was like he said he really put a, a whole pimp. Don Juan was the actual pimp, and he literally put him in the movie. I don't know, like that's kind of crazy. I mean, Don Don Juan's been in what's it called too? Mac and Devin. With Snoop well, that's and, and but that's a, but that's after that's like years and years later. Yeah, but Don Juan's been around since what actual pimp days? Like he was an actual pimp. Yeah, so like I, I, it was. It's more the crazy. I mean, I can see them having connects to it. I mean, like he was out in California. Don Juan's from Cali, right? I think so. Yeah. So that's. But that's why it's like it's crazy. Like you just gotta make the connects. No, knew Snoop or real pimping. Snoop definitely knew. Don, I don't know their connections. Fuck it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Mac and Devin is like twenty fourteen. That's like twelve years after Friday after next. Yeah. So yeah, of course. At that point, he's. I'm sure he did some acting after. Yeah, nigga, like you just did Friday after next, like. But I mean, at that time, it's like, damn, it's kind of crazy. Um, that shit, what he said about Chris Tucker was crazy too. Um, he said we don't even have Friday took Chris Tucker; we have Epstein Island Chris Tucker. I said, whoa. Yeah, I think he he said a he said a lot, but he he did um. He I mean, look, he came out and told the truth a lot. I think one thing, like he said, like you know, Nick Cannon's uh, uh um. He's like a Hollywood plug. Uh, no, what's it? What's the freaking word? He said the same. He said it about Kevin Hart too. A Hollywood plant. 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 No, he didn't call Nick Cannon a plant. He he was saying Nick Cannon first when Nick Cannon oh, first okay. dropped Wild and Out. Him and Kevin. Him Hart. and Kevin Hart were trying Fun. to blow it up. It yeah. wasn't taking off because Kevin didn't have the connects and all that good shit. And that's so then that's Kevin when Nick, that it failed. It first aired and then it failed. And then Nick was still trying to get the gra- idea off the ground. So then he went and to Cat, Cat Williams with it. And Cat had the, the clout pretty much to keep it up going. He, he called Kevin a, a plant. Um, Kevin, if you really look at the history of Kevin Hart, though, like compared to other comedians, bro. Doesn't match up. Kevin's first huge role was Soul Plane, where he was one of the main characters. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty popping movie. I remember when that shit first dropped. Soul Plane was also like that hood movie that people didn't watch unless. But everybody, even white people, have seen Soul Plane. Yeah, definitely now. Like, so. That obviously blew you up. But like like Cat Williams said, no one's heard of this person before then and after then. Because more on the West Coast. Did you really but even on the East Coast, bro, yeah. we are, we live out here. I was in New Jersey, bro, and nigga that was nigga was grew up in Philly. Ain't nobody heard of no Kevin Hart. I mean but I mean first well, back then, nigga, you were a little kid, so like, I mean, like, like I, <clears throat> I was a little kid, but still, at the time, he, what, blew up around, what, 2005-ish? Five-ish. Six-ish? But, I mean, but, I mean, if you look at what Kevin Hart had, like, was actually put, like, things out. I'm not out, saying that he hasn't put in the work, no, but no, no, I not, do not feel the, like... Not the work, but I'm saying more as, like, if you look at, like, things that, like, was put out, even around, like, Soul Plane and stuff, he, he was... He had he was on like comedy specials by at that time he was on, he was doing he had a he had a, a show I mean was it good it didn't really take what was his like show that. it was like a, he had like his own show or something like that it was was again was it good was it like crazy like but that? that's no. that's what they're talking about that's an industry plant do you see those things you uh, have your own show now you're in a movie you're you're but we're putting you in these positions that's, but that's a plant. But it's more of the fact that, like, he was in Hollywood as a plant. Like, because, again, things he did on the East Coast, a lot of people knew about. It was when he got out to the West Coast that it was, like, all of a sudden he, like... What did he do on the East Coast that everybody knows about? Nigga, the, he, he was in the comedy clubs and stuff like that. It's the same thing everyone else that the comedian had to do. 
You again, if you're a comedian, you got you you got to start somewhere. What comedy clubs is he notably? Nigga, known I don't for know visiting? the goddamn comedy clubs like that. What you asking me? Exactly. For? Did you watch that special on him and Chris Rock? Yes. What did you take away from that? Nigga, what, when they talked close. about his, I was half asleep. Man. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next week we'll talk about it when you rewatch the show. I'm not rewatching that. I was like half asleep. But again, I get it. And, and, but I mean, Kevin Hart and all, all his boys responding to is like, bro, stop talking about what Kevin Hart done and stuff. Kevin Hart actually put a lot of people on. So yeah, you can we can say he's yeah. I'm not player. saying he's an industry plan, but I'm not saying he's but, a, a horrible comedian. He's funny as fuck. He does get the credit that he's due, but. When, when you're calling out something that is, people get upset that you even brought attention to it. Mm -hmm. Because Cat Williams said, yo, he didn't knock Kevin. He didn't say, yo, this nigga's ass, this nigga's blah, 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 blah. He said two things. Kevin ain't never been in the same building for me with, as me years. in 25 years because the nigga tries to avoid me and the nigga's an industry how, I don't know how true that is, though. Because niggas was on Wildin' Out before. Together? Yes. Think Boy, about when, yes. Think, and, and again, this is why the thing with Wild and Out is also something that's like, mm, how real is that? Because when Wild and Out came out, came out, Kevin Hart was a guest on there. Cat Wayne was a, was a regular, was a regular uh, team member on there. I remember, I remember those because we had, the, we had the freaking DVD sets and stuff like that. And they showed a clip of these niggas... Uh, in the, uh, when this nigga had the skit with, as a jail thing. The camera drop would assure to be one of the most memeable clips of all time. You have an unnatural elite. Oh, no, yeah, that, no, nah, that, that clip, nah, that clip is funny, though. He is so funny. He, that clip is funny. But again, I don't think, I don't think the part where, like, they were in the same room for 25 years is, is it true. Because again, it's 2024. If you was doing skits, if they just skits in don't be mad at me because I'm doing it. Don't be mad at me because I'm taking the roles and the roles I can't take. The first person. That is true too. Right, you was thinking about yourself, I'm thinking about everybody else. That's the trunk. That will be the trunk heart. That's that that I see. But too. again, I you can't I don't think it's been twenty five years because again, they were on Wild Out at the same time. If Wild Out came out two thousand two, two thousand five ish when like it first started. Were they really on the same? I need to know. I need to yes. know this episode, bro. I'm a because if you're saying it, then I I I'll I, find I, a, I believe you. I'll find a clip. But I just googled it and I, nothing came up with them both on the same stage at the same time. They literally had a. You don't. Do you remember the the judge skit, the court skit that Cat Williams had on Wild Out when it first came out? I think. Hold on. I think this might be the film. No, that's that's like the newer one. Nah, that's the new one. Um, I'll I'll find a clip and I'll send it to you. But again, I, well, again, like, again, that's why I think majority of it is truthful. Some of it is mm, not all the way. But again, shout out to Club Shay Shay. Shout out to Unk for you know giving him that time to he really put, it put a lot of shine on it and put a lot of things out there because. It, things need to be said Things need to be done and They really do But I mean like Truth actually does need to be shed too For real At the end of the day Because Like he said What re really resonated With me Losers don't get to rewrite history mm. And that's a, a fucking fact Bro Like you can't just sit here And win the war And then sit here And be like Alright the niggas that we beat let, Let's let them tell the story because the nigga that lost is always going to tell a different story than the nigga that won. And that's a fucking fact 100% of the time. So, in that fact, what Kat was saying and doing when he said that shit, it was very truthful and it resonated with me. You can't sit here and, and be out here, like he said, you can't be out here working out every day and then some other kid off the street juiced up just taking steroids and lift a weight in his life talking mm -hmm. about, damn... Look at me, bro. You do putting all in that work, and I'm just taking roids, and my shit look better than yours. Like, bro, yep. you don't get to... What? Yep. You ain't working as hard as me. You taking shortcuts, bro. I feel that. 
Like, I feel that. And that's where I feel like he was what resonated with him and he was trying to get past with Kevin Hart shit. Kevin Hart being the industry plant. I'm not saying the nigga didn't put in the work. Mm -hmm. I don't know the nigga's story personally. Kevin probably doesn't really know the nigga's story personally. But from the outside looking in and the experiences that he's had with these other com kings of comedy, bro, like, y'all are all taking shortcuts. Y'all don't write your own shit. Y'all aren't really funny in real life. Like, yeah. So it's like, come on. I think so. I think Sanji Antenna is funny, though. I do think Cedric the Entertainer is funny, but he did take a lot of those niggas' jokes. Mm -hmm. Like he's, they said that Cedric the Entertainer is funny, but he's not. He's not. He's a writer. Like, he's not. He doesn't write his own things no, to be he's funny. He's not a writer. Like, he's writing. He takes for everyone else, basically. Yeah, makes sense. Um, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Look, shout out to Cat Williams. Shout out to Shan Sharp for that one. Um, this is a great way to start the year, though. I think. <laughs> I think Adam Sandler's funny as fuck, though. Adam, <coughs> Adam Sandler's funny. <coughs> no one could touch Adam. Ben Stiller up there too. Mm -hmm. Adam, Adam Sandler's funny. Adam Sandler is definitely funnier though. Hell yeah. Adam Sandler's funnier. What are you about to say? Some sports shit. Let's go. But let's get into it, man. <laughs> it is now playoff time. It is the one of the best times of the year. This nigga finna lose this tournament. It's not a tournament. You're not in a fantasy league? No. You're not? No. Did yeah, you know, already? Done. Yeah, nigga, we already talked about that. We didn't, we didn't worry about that. We just had to make some predictions, Drewski. Because NFL playoffs, Super Bowl time, Super Bowl 54. Dolphins are winning. <clears throat> Super Bowl 53. No. Dolphins are winning the bowl. What? The Dolphins? Can we just talk about how the Dolphins choked away the AFC East on Sunday Night Football? Bro, I don't watch football, bro. I, don't I know you don't. And that's, <laughs> that's why, that's why I'm sitting here like... And that's why it's even Dolphins, funnier. Dolphins are winning the bowl, bro. And this bro. is why it's even funnier because we're going to have Drewski make some predictions, all right? Oh, you want to hear your take, the hot take. You got the hot take. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, we, I'm just going to read out the games. All right, go, okay. go, go. We got Wild Card Weekend this week. First game up is Houston-Cleveland. CJ Stroud versus Joe Flacco. Joe's taking it. Joe Flacco. Old man Joe. But I don't even know who CJ Stroud is. Old man Joe. There we go. Cleveland. You still play for Ravens? <laughs> <laughs> next next one. Next round. Next round. Uh Kansas City versus Miami. Tyreek Hill returns to Kansas City. And it's also supposed to be zero degrees with negative wind. wind. Bro, it's Miami can't play out there, bro. They can't play in the in cold. And it's, it's, I think it's supposed to snow, too. It's supposed to, be, it's supposed to be like negative nine. They're not good in the cold, bro. It's supposed to be like negative nine. Oh, no, I'm City. not taking that one. I, I, think can't, I think the Chiefs is taking that one. Let's give it to the Chiefs. Uh, Buffalo versus Pittsburgh Steelers. Buffalo. Okay. Uh, on the NFC side, Wild Card Weekend, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. I, I hope so, because them Eagles have been, they've been garbage. I know. Fly, <laughs> Eagles, fly. fly. You sticking with your roots, huh? Aren't fly, you, Eagles, aren't fly. Aren't you a Giants fan? So where I grew up, it was a mixture of Eagles and Giants, and it's weird because, like, we are literally in between both cities. Yeah. So it's either you go to the green or you go to the blue. Like, that's yeah. either or. So, um, either I mean. Jets, Giants, or Eagles? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, most of my friends, a lot of my friends were Eagles fans. And then when it came to, like, my family-wise and stuff, like, it's more. It's weird because I feel like Southern Jersey, like, Central to Southern Jersey is Eagle fans. And then Northern and up is New York Giants fans. What is Central Jersey? Fuck you. Why are you, why are you saying that? Because you know where Central Jersey is. You've been to Central Jersey. I, I, I don't You've know. literally slept in Central Jersey. For, so for you for, to for say our, that Central Jersey, where is Central for, Jersey? For our viewers out there who may not know what Central Jersey, what's Central Jersey like? Bro, Central Jersey is like, fuck. I would say Central Jersey is from 
You can't even say East Orange or none of that shit, bro. I would say starting from Monmouth County down, bro, all the way till you get to like the Burlington Mount Laurel area, like Cherry Hillish, because that's all South Jersey at that point. Like literally, and it's crazy because North Jersey they have a weird accent, South Jersey they have a weird country accent, but it's not like really country South accent. It's just like a slangier way they talk, and like I feel like you can only notice that if you live. In and are from Jersey because when you come from central Jersey like I do from the burbs because I'm a suburban kid um, there there's two you're in between two different worlds mm -hmm. North Jersey they call it Taylor ham South Jersey they call it pork roll what do they call it in central Jersey I call it pork roll egg and cheese so I, I that's me siding with the Southerners, but Taylor Ham. If you're from the North, it's very interesting. Uh, if you're from New Jersey, you know, let us know what you guys think of Central Jersey. Okay, Central Jersey exists. I'm not. I'm not doing this shit. I don't. And really, to be honest, there's so many fucking cities and towns and shit. I you can't even like depict where Central Jersey is, but like the Trenton, the Tr Okay, so Trenton is the capital, right? Yep. In my county, Mercer County, we had Trenton. So we went to school with, like, the Trenton kids and everything like that, which, you know, in any, pretty much in any state, the capital is, like, the hood. So all the hood kids and everything went there. Yep. To the, we were all in the same, like, district, you could say. Then you would go down to, like, past, like, uh, like South Brunswick, like North Brunswick. Once you get past the Brunswick, that's when it starts getting South Jersey because then it's like starting to get like to the sticks and like to like that's where like Atlantic City and like all that weird shit, like everything's like mad spaced out in Jersey and like it's it, it gets weird down there. Okay. But in North Jersey, it's like the, the woods and like you got to watch out for black bears. Like my grandparents, they lived in Sussex County in Jersey. And these niggas had a, a lock on their trash can because they're, they have black bear attacks. Like literal black bears just come out and murk your dog. There was one time I was chilling with my grandpa, no bullshit. And he was like, look, look, look. And I looked out and he was like, look at that big dog. And I looked and I was like, bro, that's a bear, bro. That's not a dog. And he was like, what? Yeah, you got to watch out for them bears. I said, nigga, you just said it was a dog. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? Nah, that shit was crazy, though. That was the first time I think I ever seen, like, a wild black bear. But, yeah, like, you, you should see these trash cans, though. It's, like, the trash cans outside, but, like, it has, like, a cylinder lock on it. And you gotta, like, literally twist that bitch to... Because the, they'll, they'll flip your shit and go through it. Yeah. Damn, all right, well... Yeah, that's New Jersey talk for you, though. That's, that's a little experience that's, that's, from my world. Central, you know what? We might have to take another trip to Central Jersey, all right? Bro... Everyone, all of your New Jersey friends are from Central Jersey. I don't know. A lot of them say there is no Central Jersey, but you know. Who said there's no Central Jersey? Albert said there's no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call him? <laughs> See, this is why I like having this conversation of Central Jersey or not, because they all get so heated. Literally, like. They get so tight when you say, is there or not a Central Jersey? <laughs> I hope he answers, too. Come on, Albert. Pick up the phone. He's like, why the fuck is Andrew calling me? I know he's saying that. Yo. Why the fuck are you calling me? I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Yo, so First we're of having all, this Albert, quick... Nah, shut up. Albert, we're welcome to the Mixing Pop Podcast. We're quick debate on the Mixing Pop Podcast, and I had to phone a friend because I'm explaining New Jersey, and this kid is sitting here telling me that there's no such thing as I'm not Jersey. saying anything. I'm just, you know, asking him the questions, like the real interviewers. I'm just... Albert, I'm just trying to clarify. Me, please tell him that we are from Central Jersey and that place exists. Yes, we are from Central Jersey and that place exists. Are you sure, Albert? Uh, Tariq, I'm sorry. I am not a New Jerseyan that can be bullied into fake news. <laughs> I don't know. Cause, I, I, Albert, you, you, I am an hour away from New York. I'm an hour away from, uh, from Delaware. I can be mixing and moving any which way 
stay in New Jersey, I can. I think that's pretty central. I think and you're in line you're, between where people think they're racist or they're cool people that go to New York every now and then. Me and Andrew live that thin line. <laughs> Joey doesn't. Joey does not live that line at all. Joey does not live that line at all. And there are many people that can attest to that fact. No uh, bullshit. Where I was from in Jersey, it was 55 minutes exactly to Times Square, and it was like 35 minutes to Philly. From my location in Jersey. So you can go either way. And it was less than an hour, both places. But you, okay. but you live in Jersey. Okay. Well, I mean, Albert, you're in the same group chat where, you know, there's a lot of Jerseyans in there as well. And they say there's no central Jersey. So I'm just trying to clarify which one it is, okay? I'm just doing the interview... I'm sorry, you're also in that group chat with a lot of New Jersey. You're going to understand this when I say it's like talking to a brick wall whenever you're trying to get a point across. <laughs> so I don't know why you're coming at me. I'm not coming at you, Albert, at all. I'm not coming at you. I'm just a cooperative person that understands, hey, it's, it's impossible to get a word in edgewise when one speaks a mile a minute and then the other one comes at your back for drinking water. So, <laughs> I'm going to just keep quiet and sit in the back and then hold my opinion until somebody asks me at 9 o'clock at night. So. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Oh, but, man. yeah, thank you, Albert, for tuning in, and thank you for always participating on our Phone a Friend segment. Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Love you, too. <laughs> you know... I think we should ask some other Jerseyans. Just put, we're going to put this up, and of course, you know, putting it to the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Is there or is there not a central Jersey? We're going to, we want to we wanna know. Call Alex. Let's, let's, let's see, one, let's see if Alex answers. He probably is working right now. He's definitely not working. Ugh. I don't even have his number. No, I do have his number, don't I? Nine seven three seven three eight nine nine five one. Let's 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 see. Hold Not on. me revealing his number online. You, on, you, on that is that is that was crazy though. Just bleep that out. You can bleep that out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's call Alex. <clears throat> let's see. Hopefully. hopefully. Call him. Damn. Damn. No, he's on a bill. He's on. Do not disturb. Always call twice. <laughs> he's probably working right now, so he's probably not going to answer. But if he answers, this would be amazing. Nah, he's definitely in the shits right now. Yeah, he's definitely in the weeds. <laughs> Damn, yeah, he's not going to answer. But you know what, Alex? Next time, we're going to call you. We'll get you We'll get you to weigh in. I'm done. But back to our... Uh, <laughs> Central Jersey exists, bro. I don't, don't want to hear none of that. All right, so you got Philly over Tampa? Yeah, I got Philly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Okay. Uh, Detroit versus the Rams. L.A. Rams. Detroit. Okay. And then lastly, Dallas Cowboys versus Green Bay Cowboys. Packers. You want the Cowboys? Cowboys. It's January, though. Cowboys. You know what happens in January? Cowboys. Right? They shit the bed, but fuck it. Cowboys. <laughs> they ain't going to shit the bed. Okay. We'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it right there. That's just the wild card round. What, are you going to run these back and then see if my predictions we're, are correct? We're going to run them back each week. All right. The Super Bowl. All right, fuck it. You, you see. Fly, Eagles, fly! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bro. Um, this should be fun. Uh, I hope your predictions come true. My predictions are always going to come true. Uh, the only one I'm rocky about since Joe Flacco isn't on the Ravens anymore is that. <laughs> um, well, the, the Ravens are the number one seed with Lamar Jackson. San Francis. Oh, Lamar's leading them to the promised land? He's the, they, you think they he's hitting the bull? They have the first round by. I think they're going to win. What the hell? Alex just sent a goddamn Instagram, something from Instagram, but you can't enter our phone call? God damn it, Alex. He's probably like, why the fuck is he calling me? Matt hitting me up. Matt's, well, no, Matt didn't live in Jersey. Never mind. No, Matt lives in Jersey, right? Matt used to live in Jersey. He li lived in Jersey a long time ago, but I didn't meet Matt until we lived in Georgia. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. 
I was going to say, let's call Matt because he might know, but nah, he wouldn't know. Matt wouldn't know shit about you. <laughs> Matt don't know. He's Matt knows Florida. more about Florida than He's anything. He's a Floridian. Literally. Never mind. Um, yeah. Uh, San Fran's the number one seed on the NFC. 49ers. Yep. So they both got fresh round by. So we'll see what happens. You think how, how many how many you think you'll get right? You I can, I can games. I can name every team in the league. What? <laughs> You're like what the fuck? You, you, you think I you, can name every team in the league. You, do you want to test that out? Yeah, just just look at the list. Okay. And you got you got to just tell me the city though. Okay. Does that work? So you want me to just throw out the city and you just Yeah, and I'll tell you the team. Okay. I ain't stupid. Cincinnati. I ain't stupid. Ain't no dummy, nigga. C- Cincinnati. Bengals, nigga. Okay. Pittsburgh. Steelers, nigga. Cleveland. Browns, nigga. Baltimore. Ravens, nigga. New England. Patriots, nigga. <laughs> N- New York. Jets. And Giants. Okay. Miami. Dolphins. This is kind of cheating because I'm giving you the city. You should nah, just know. Nah, nah, nah. You got to just say both of them, but you know, we'll go with this. Buffalo. Bills. Kind of struggled there, but you know, okay. I don't know why I was struggling either. I was like, what the hell? I see the logo and everything. Ugly uh, ass logo. Houston. Uh, Houston Texans. Jackson. They used to be the Oilers. Okay. Yeah, see, I know. I, I went to, bro, I went to Canton, Ohio. He didn't, bro. I went to Canton, bro. I know about this football shit, bro. Okay, Jacksonville. Jaguars. Indianapolis. Colts. St. Louis. Rain? No, LA is the rain. <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals. Nigga, nigga, what? Oh, wow, that's the football. That's, the baseball, that's baseball, nigga. Uh, St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis. <laughs> nigga, you What's St. Got- Louis? <laughs> Fuck, hold on. St. Louis. St. Louis ain't got no team. <laughs> what is it? They don't have a team. It was I was Rams about to before. say, it was the Rams before, right? He said, nah, the Rams are in LA, LA. now. Cardinals, no. Wait, that's baseball. Uh, uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Arizona, the Cardinals, though. Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, Indianapolis. We already did that. Colts. Okay. Tennessee. Titans. Kansas City. Chiefs. Las Vegas. Raiders. Okay. Denver. Broncos. LA. Rams. And? That's it. No. There's there's two teams in LA. What the fuck? There's two teams in nah, LA. No, that's in basketball, cuh. No. <laughs> there's two teams in LA. Who else moved to LA? Think about it. Who else is on the West Coast? Oh, 49ers. No. That's San Fran. That's San Fran. The fuck? Who the fuck else is in LA? <laughs> well, let's go back to that one. Then. The Lakers, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dallas. Cowboys. Philly. Fly, Eagles. Fly. Washington. Uh, they are not the Redskins anymore, but they are now the Washington footballers. Or Washington Nationals, no Washington football team, no. They used they the the year after they when they were coming up with a name, they were the football team. Just the football Washington that was, that football was, team. That was their name, but they ha- actually have a name now. What is it? The Commanders. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know what's funny because people the like people that, uh like the Indians and stuff like that, or like people that like they like they were didn't want stuff. it. Yeah, they're like, bro, we want the Redskins. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like that ass. Why did y'all change that? Uh, Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, uh, Minnesota Vikings, Chicago Bears, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, New Orleans Saints, Atlanta Falcons, Carolina Panthers, San Fran, Forty Niners, Seattle. Seahawks. And then Arizona. Cardinals. But who the fuck else is in LA? <clears throat> you said you said literally all the teams besides the one. They just moved too. 
a few years ago. Where did they used to be at? Will it give it away if I if you sell that? It will, but was it like a rinky dink state? It wasn't a rinky dink state, but it was a state that didn't have. No, it's in the same state. Same, it's in California. This team, they just moved to LA. They were in Cali though. They originally too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Drew. Bro, because Oakland used to be in Cali, but they moved out to Nevada. 49ers Ra- stayed in San Francisco. The Raiders went from Oakland to LA to Vegas. Yeah, yep. that's what I said. Nevada. They went out to Nevada. Mm-hmm. So now they're in there. San Fran. 49ers. Is, they're in the Bay Area, but they're still San Fran. Yeah, and then. Oh, oh, the fucking San Diego Chargers. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking, LA, LA I'm Chargers. like, I'm like, what the fuck? What? They should have stayed in San Diego. They were better, probably. What? What took over the stadium in San Diego? They just they don't have out? a team anymore. Ass. A lot of a lot of the like sports teams they didn't have the support. they the ones that like have like have like bad stadiums or like just don't have a fan base. They try to move, but a lot of them try to stay and be like, let's build a newer stadium. So then, if you don't have the funds for it, you go somewhere else that has the funds. LA is a lot bigger, so they say, "Hey, let's go to LA." But it doesn't make sense. How why. far is San Diego from LA, though? Like, I are your know. fans really just gonna get up? When and you have, I mean, when you have dire fans, I mean, you're a fan. You're a fan. But if you gotta move, you really, you really banking on your fucking diehards like that? Yeah, because they come out. They, I mean, they they come out. So I mean, well, they come you out. Ever met a Chargers fan? No. <laughs> Do they even exist? I mean, apparently, I mean, I, you met a Redskins fan. Yes, uh, Ron, Ron, Ronnie is a Seahawks a Washington fan. fan. James is a Seahawks fan. You ever met a? Um, no, we can't even say that because your brother's a Saints fan. Saints, yeah. Uh, a Dolphins fan. Uh, at, at Boca when I was at Boca, a Browns fan. No. Exactly, niggas ain't we, shit. We, Johnny football. We know, we know, we know, we know a, we know a Browns fan, but we just don't aren't gonna mention that man's name. So he was your, he was your roommate. He, he was he, your, he lived right next to you in at school in Hudson. Oh fuck that kid! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we gonna be back next week to talk about the divisional rounds and see how many Drew got right. I'm gonna get them all right, bro. Okay. You going go six? You going six for six this week? I'm going six for six. Six for six. Stop playing with me. I'll give you five dollars if you go six for six. Double it and pass it on to the next person. I think you did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for today. Uh, Drew, where can they find you at? Um, you guys can find me at I underscore Love You Drew. Of course, um, on Instagram, you can also find me at Second Human. Um, we got. A lot of projects coming up this year, um, upcoming, so be ready for that. Um, you can also catch me here on the Mixing Pot podcast, because if you're not listening to us, then what the hell are you really listening to? Uh, you can also catch me on the Chef Tariq show. I am on there uh, Sundays helping out with the editing, the backgrounds, and even eating the food, feel me? So, like, shit, y'all want to tune in and see our beautiful faces some more? Go on and tr- Show some love to the Chef Tariq show, feel me? Like, it's it's all in one, feel me? Like, but, um, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that we love you guys. We love our fans. We love all the support you guys give us um, because you guys know what to listen to. You're not out here listening to all that riff raff, that hip hop, and all that. It's like, no, we love hip hop. But um, Caribou coming out here soon, too. Shout out to you. I'll be looking out for you, mamas. All right, your turn. Chatterick.com on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, Red Lounge, Thursday to Sunday, uh, 6 to 10, Thursday, 6 to 11, Friday, Saturday, and 2 to 10 on Sunday. Uh, Miss A Block and Jossie Crazy Creations, Cake and Shake, this Saturday, 2 p.m. Bring the kids out. Come have them decorate a cake. Get them some nice milkshakes. Get them some nice food. Enjoy the day. 
on Saturday from t- t- 2 to 5. So message them on Instagram for the tickets. Uh, here on Twitch, Chef Street underscore CL22. Uh, and then Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts to listen to the Mix and Pop Pod. Uh, MXNG Pop Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, we've been posting a lot more clips. We've been, you know, collaborating with some people as well. We're doing a bunch of different things. Um, you guys see, you know, we, we change things all the time. We're doing some di- different stuff, you know, trying to improve, you know, and, you know, we're doing our thing. So, that us. And like Drew says, if you're not listening to us, what the hell are you listening to for real? So, yeah. Um, mixing up with Chef Treek this Sunday as well, 11 a.m. We are back. So, you guys can tune in. And even if we're not back, we got clips coming out every single week. You guys just give me the line. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, did you see Give Me the Light uh music video? Yachty? No. Check that shit out. I like the edits on that shit. I'm gonna start. Alright, we'll, we'll put that on right there. We're gonna we're gonna remix that shit. But all right. some second humanist tactics to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me the light. There you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. We'll see you guys next week.